Hey there, it's Nick here, getting you educated about photographing reflections. Whether it's a landscape being mirrored by a lake or traffic reflecting in a storefront window, most of us have at one stage attempted to photograph reflections. If you found this task a little tricky or you just need some inspiration, let's unpack all you need to know about reflection photography. First things first, be on the lookout for reflections everywhere. Glass, bodies of water and metal surfaces are just some of the spots that you'll commonly see reflections that you can photograph. If you're to truly master this art, you should always be searching for fun and interesting reflections that you can incorporate into your work. Rainy days will cause more reflections than usual, so head outside with your camera and start looking for puddles as soon as that next downpour ends. Look for reflections with symmetry. One of the most successful examples of reflection photography that we'd all recognise is the image of a painterly sky perfectly replicated in water. While it might be cliched, images like this are difficult to come by, so you should always be ready to fire if you do. Look for reflections that contrast. Opposite to our last tip, look for a reflection that doesn't quite match the rest of the image, such as the same picturesque sky reflected in the window of a rundown car. This juxtaposition, it opens a narrative in your work which viewers will enjoy. Our next tip is to always consider the lighting of your image. Glare can be a serious issue when photographing reflective surfaces. To counteract this, we advise avoiding the middle of the day when the sun is directly above and shooting during golden hour, which is the period directly after sunrise or before sunset. The soft and diffuse light available at these times makes it easier to capture your reflections. A bonus tip is to screw a circular polarizer filter on your lens to reduce the glare coming off the water or other reflective surface. That gives you more freedom to shoot whenever possible. To capture the most intriguing reflections, change up the angles. Finding the perfect angle for your photo is super important to reflection photography. You'll often find yourself crouching down low or angling your lens up to fine tune your composition. We advise moving around and entertaining every possibility once you find your reflection. Mounting your camera on a tripod and composing using the LCD screen of your camera can make this experimentation an easier task. We recommend these cameras and lenses for reflection photography. A camera that's capable of capturing as much detail as possible is the best choice for photographing reflections. So we'd suggest a mirrorless camera. These cameras also allow you to make manual adjustments and mount different lenses. In terms of lenses, many people prefer a wide angle lens as a wider field of view allows you to incorporate more foreground and background in the image. Therefore, you can frame the reflection as well as the subject being reflected. Consider these camera settings. While there's no strict rule to follow here, here's a guide to the camera settings that you should consider using for reflection photography. Use a small aperture. An aperture of f11 or f16 provides a greater depth of field, meaning more of your image will be in focus. Use a fast shutter speed. This is particularly important if your reflective surface is water, as the quick shutter speed prevents blurring of your reflection as the water moves. Your ISO should then be set accordingly to produce a good exposure. As you don't want your reflection to be blown out or too dark, consider metering your exposure in the reflection for best results. If you want to know more, head to teds.com.au forward slash blog or keep updated by subscribing to TEDS on YouTube or following TEDS on Instagram at TEDS underscore cameras for all the latest education. You can also join Club TED to stay updated on the latest news and content as well as be eligible for all Club TED only offers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.